Well, that will be the real challenge for the uh, current uh, Commission. I mean, certainly uh, all these issues I touched upon, the Commission is fully aware of. Uh, I think the policy coherence I touched upon, uh, which has to take place both domestically, and when we say domestically, that's the European Union in that case, and globally, and the issue of trade and climate, uh, the coherence thereof. And we've heard uh, within the Commission discussions about border tax adjustments. There are other means. Uh, it is certainly important that we bear these in mind, because certainly for us, coming from the uh, business world, we need to have policy coherence. We need to have short-term and long-term signals. And I think that is really uh, the real challenge. And I'm not sure the European Commission will be able to uh, very quickly uh, come to ah. such a... Uh, Could take a while. Yes. Uh, you agree with that, Brice Lalonde, that we won't get a harmonization of the, of the price of carbon among the 27? Well, what's lacking is a common energy policy for Europe. We don't have it. We have uh, as much energy policies as <laughs> countries. <laughs> so that's, that's the problem. Some countries are going nuclear, some don't. Uh, uh, you know, so that's, that's, that's going to be very difficult. I mean, even in France, it's not very consistent. I mean, OK, look, uh, last uh, week there was uh, Madame uh, um, Cochère was... Uh, her appointment was not, uh, you know, she stopped. Uh, why? Because she was not pushing gas enough. Uh, natural gas, but that's a fossil fuel. You know, so there's inconsistency. We are stopping uh, a decarbonized plant in nuclear, Fessenheim, but we are keeping a coal uh, uh, power plant uh, near Nantes. So there's lots of things like that, if you want, which make it difficult after to, to be very consistent and to be, to, you know, to, to have confidence, I would say, in the policy. You agree?